Hebrews 12 verses 1 through 3 says, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart." The writer of Hebrews mentioned the great cloud of witnesses, referring to the heroes of faith that he had just discussed. Some of the examples that we've considered in our study are in this list of the faithful in Hebrews 11. And because we have this great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, we must do three things. We must lay aside every encumbrance and sin and run with endurance. We must look to Jesus and his example and we must not grow weary and lose heart. In other words, we must take courage. We must trust in the Lord and follow Him as He desires, no matter what the consequences might be. We've spent several lessons looking at examples of courage. And it's important that we know why that we did this. It's not because these are good stories, even though they are good stories. But it's it's not so that we can admire these men, even though we ought to recognize their courage, their, their, their courage that they exhibited. It's not to provide some hollow motivation to make us feel good today, but will be forgotten tomorrow. The reason that we studied these examples of courage was so that we will act with courage as well. Courage is not just a characteristic of the heroes of faith. It's for all of us, and this is why the writer of Hebrews mentioned those heroes of faith so that the Hebrew Christians, as well as Christians today, would learn from their examples and then follow in the footsteps of Christ. We must not lose heart, but always be of good courage, knowing the hope that awaits us following the trials of this life. Friends, the foundation of courage is faith. We cannot please God, nor can we display courage without having faith, Hebrews 11 and verse 6. The Hebrew writer mentioned the heroes of faith, as well as Jesus himself, to admonish Christians to not grow weary and lose heart, Hebrews 12 and verse 13. And verse 3, Paul said that we must be of good courage and we must walk by faith and not by sight, 2 Corinthians 5, verses 6 and 7. If we have trouble acting with courage, then we need to stop and examine our faith. Jude wrote about the need for Christians to build up their faith in Jude verse 20. But how can we do this? Well, he spoke earlier in his letter of the need to contend earnestly for the faith, Jude verse 3. But how can we contend for the faith? We need to remember what Paul wrote. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10 and verse 17. Faith is not miraculously given to us by God. Faith comes as we read, study, meditate, and practice the word of God. We must do this in order to equip ourselves to contend earnestly for the faith. We must also do this that we might build up ourselves on that foundation of faith. But how do we take courage? In the introduction to our study, we noticed how we can take courage. In each of our examples, we noticed how each of these men took steps and demonstrated courage in their particular circumstances. But we must also take these steps that we might live with courage today. We must know what is right. We must know that there is a reward. And we must act. But also, remember our examples. We considered the example of Abram and his courage to leave home as God instructed him to do. We saw the example of Joseph who had courage to maintain purity when he was tempted by his master's wife. We saw Moses and the courage to lead as he was called to this position of leadership as the deliverer of the children of Israel. We saw the example of David and his courage to fight against Goliath. We saw Amos and his courage to speak out even though his message would not be popular and was a message that was against every person. We saw the example of Josiah who even from a very young age had the courage to restore his nation back to a position of faithfulness to God. We saw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and their courage to trust in God rather than 
bow down to the king. And we saw the same with Daniel, who had the courage to defy the law rather than obey men. The examples in this study acted with courage, but they did not miraculously receive courage from the Lord. They learned what to do and why they should do it, then they acted with courage and carried out the Lord's commands by their own free will. They could have chosen to compromise, but they did not. And we, we will often be tempted to compromise our faith. Yet, we must remain steadfast in all of the challenges that we face. Let us take courage and obey the Lord no matter what the consequences may be. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.